Hi, I'm Dr. Kea Patel. In today's video, we're using retro illumination and the slit lamp to look at the cornea. Retro illumination is a useful technique to examine low contrast structures on the cornea, such as corneal nerves, keratic precipitates, and extended or new blood vessels. Backlighting certain structures can be more revealing than direct illumination. The backlight is most commonly created by reflecting light off the surface of the iris. Begin by focusing a parallel pipe on the centre of the cornea. With the illumination coming from the left, you can see the direct beam here on the left and the retro beam on the right, formed by the light passing through the cornea and being reflected back from the iris. Here you can see debris in the tear film, both in the direct and retro beam. Increase the magnification from 16 times to 25 times. You can increase the separation of the direct and retro beams by increasing the angle of the illumination system. You can also decouple the illumination and observation systems to ensure that the direct and retro beams do not overlap. To view the vessels at the limbus, get the patient to look in the appropriate direction to bring the area of interest closer to the center of the field of view. You may need to hold the eyelid out of the way. Alter the angle of illumination so that the retro beam hits the iris at the limbus, but ideally does not illuminate the cornea directly. If you cannot manage this by changing the angle, try uncoupling the illumination system and observation system. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Kea Patel. And if you'd like this video, come back to watch more. Or you can learn more at Topcon Healthcare University.